In the last video, I cooked the hot dog with nothing more than an extension cord with a couple of bolts attached to the end. This worked relatively well, although it was extremely dangerous. Think about it. You have a cord plugged into the wall with two electrodes on the end. Not terribly safe. So as promised, I said I would build an upgraded system that would be much safer as well as potentially cook the hot dog better. This is what I've come up with. I call it the Hot Dogger 3000. You know, because 2000 is so 16 years ago. But anyways, let me show you some of the things I've put into this. Under the curved clear cover lies the hot dog tray. Two electrodes are what powers the dog. The system is safe because of this switch here. Only when the switch is depressed does electricity flow to the electrodes. When the cover is open, the switch is always open. However, when the lid is closed, the switch closes and the electricity flows through the electrodes and through the hot dog. The dimmer switch here is used to adjust the current flowing through the hot dog. I've also included a light that basically shows when the dimmer switch is turned on and it also can be used to show how much energy is flowing through the hot dog. Now I know you're dying to see this thing in action, but first, let me show you how I made it. This is what I used for this build. Take the two inch coupling and cut it in half. And then cut it in half again. The styrene bends around these halves to form the clear cover. The aluminum bar is used to hold the two halves of the cover together and everything is tied down with self-tapping screws. Next we need to cut some wood for the base of the system. The cover is easily attached using some small hinges. Cut the one inch coupling in half. Holes are drilled through the center of these pieces for the electrodes to stick through. The bottom side of the hole needs to be enlarged slightly to fit the head of the screw. Next, we need to cut some more wood to form a box to house the electronics. I did this very simply and kind of crude. It could be a lot nicer. In the top of the box, there needs to be a recessed hole to fit the light. One of the side panels of the base is removed and marked for where the switch fits into it. The recess for this switch is simply carved with a Dremel tool. The switch is held in place using some small screws. The side of the base needs to be cut out as well to fit the switch. Finally, on the bottom of the base, Grooves need to be cut to accommodate the wires so that they sit flush with the bottom. Large holes in the electronics box accommodate the wires from the outlet into the box and from the box into the base. Another small block needs to be cut to support the far end of the base. Now that everything's painted, we can work on the electronics. This is the circuit I wired. Electricity from the outlet flows through the dimmer and onto the momentary switch. It's connected to the normally open and COM ports. It flows through the hot dog and back to the outlet. The lamp is connected in parallel with the hot dog.
The electrodes are wired and pushed up through the base and secured with a nut. As in the previous video, I'm going to be using my Norio home electricity monitor to monitor the energy use of this thing in real time as it cooks the hot dog. It should be interesting because we're able to vary the current through this hot dog using the dimmer switch. So let's fire this thing up. You simply take the hot dog, press it onto the electrodes, and close the lid. Even though the lid is closed, I have the dimmer switch turned down. So very little current is flowing through the hot dog. If you look at the Norio, nothing has really changed. However, if I begin to increase this a little bit, we have about a 20 watt jump, and now the hot dog is cooking. I can see it bubbling around the electrode. another small bump. Now you can tell, ooh, she is, our power usage dropped. I think it's done. You can obviously tell it's, it's finished. It's arcing. Lots of hot dog smoke. So how is this thing? That is a really good hot dog. It's warm, it's fully cooked. I would rate that much higher than the previous one. This is getting close to 10 out of 10. If you like this video, be sure to like it. That's a little thumbs up thing down here. Check out right here. I'm gonna attach a link to the previous video, which is just me cooking this thing, plugging it into the wall. I'm also including a link here to another project I really like. Oh, and be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna keep making projects like this, and if you like them, you'll wanna know about them. So subscribe, hit that button down there, or I'll put a link somewhere. And that's it. Except I think I'm gonna just keep eating this hot dog because it's a really good hot dog. I'm gonna die of these things before too long. But anyways, this is really hot.